Hey, everybody. It's October 10th, 2023. I am literally laying in bed with the covers up to my neck because I just am so frustrated and angry with the world today. Um, I almost did a vlog at like midnight this morning because I had such a terrible incident at work and I, for the first time, was so frustrated I was almost in tears. But I came home and I had a glass of wine and I drank it and I passed out. And I woke up this morning feeling a little bit better. But I kind of took a break from the world today. Well, that was my intention, was to take a break from the world. But today I had the most productive day from bed, which is nice. I had oddly had a lot of meetings and phone calls for things. Uh, I booked another gig, so I was excited about that. But um, basically, in retrospect, without having to go into like this long tirade of like things that frustrate me is... Um, I... And now on this re sort of retrospective to, to find out if I'm a bad person because I have been on this movie for the last month and the thing about this particular movie is that everybody in this film, for some reason, needed to wear really strong perfume and cologne, which I've always been taught to not do on set because you work in such close proximity with people, especially actors, and we work really, like, we're on top of each other, basically. So out of respect, you just don't have strong cologne and stuff and because i'm somebody who suffers from really bad allergies and especially because the seasons are changing i just get very easily affected by that and there was one day on set where i was sneezing for literally five hours i don't know if i mentioned this but it was one of the days we were at that pink motel and i was sneezing for like five hours five hours and that sounds like i'm exaggerating but for five hours i just could not stop sneezing i went through like two boxes of tissues like i just was i've never experienced anything in my life now i know that particular day the seasons were changing. I'm aware of that. But there was also so many other things like people were vaping. So I remember I mentioned that. Um, it was all in my face and just strong colognes. And so like it wasn't the fact that the seasons were changing. It was that all of these other things are irritants. And so it just makes it worse. And I just couldn't get away from that. But the, the thing about it is nobody on this. I, would, I was wearing a mask. I wore a mask I think maybe the last two weeks, two weeks in a day. <laughs> And I just couldn't get a, like, I had to wear a mask because I was so tired of sneezing and coughing. And I'm so tired of, like, having a runny nose. And I was so tired of, like, coming home with, like, sinus pressure headache and my whole face hurting from sneezing all day long. So I was just personally wearing a mask. And there was a few days we were in the, ba in the basement of the warehouse. And it was gross and dirty down there. So I was wearing it anyways. But, like, because I was wearing a mask, no one thought, okay, well, he doesn't like our perfume. He doesn't like our cologne. But we're going to continue wearing it because he's wearing a mask. So it was just like, it was just, I got so frustrated because I was like, it's, I, it was just a simple thing where I was just like, please let me breathe because I'm trying to do my job and no one would, would, would do it. All right, whatever. Can't make people stop wearing perfumes and colognes. But at the same time, it was like, you're hiring me to do my job and I couldn't do it. But I just get so frustrated sometimes that people don't care about their crew and it, it's just maddening. And there was an incident yesterday where I think yesterday was finally the first time that I didn't have to wear a mask. And I was so grateful because it was nice to, like, I don't, I, I wore a mask all through COVID. I'm not, like, I'm not anti-mask. It has nothing to do with that. It's just like, if I don't have to wear one, I don't want to wear one, right? Especially because I'm starting to feel a little bit better. And I don't know if there's people that are just not cognizant of the surroundings because, like, we seem to be in the day and age now where people just sit and watch, like, TikTok and, in, like, reels and stuff on their phone while they're waiting for things. But their phone's always loud. And I don't know if you know, you'll ever see pictures of me, but I always have my AirPods on me because I don't, first of all, they have great, great sound. Second of all, I don't need other people to listen to what I'm listening to. I just find that disrespectful and I don't want to be a hypocrite. So I try not to be like the one, there's people that stuff on airplanes. Like it's just weird. Let me sit up because I'm telling a story. So in this, there was an incident yesterday where somebody was next to me and probably like four feet, five feet, just standing next to me. And I was sitting at the monitor working and son, someone was just standing next to me and some somebody was standing next to that person and that person took bug spray and sprayed it on that person's arm because I guess there was bugs. But they were so close to me in the vicinity that when they sprayed the bug spray, because people just, it all went in my face. And it's toxic. That shit's toxic and it stinks. And it just hit me and I lost. I just was so angry and I stood up and I just snapped at that person. Because I was like, why don't you use common sense? Like, you're spraying toxicity in people's faces. But, and then I just quickly recovered it. And I was just like, I'm so sorry.
But the weird thing is, and I guess I'm just a terrible person, I just have to own it. But I was just so frustrated because I don't know why, if you're spraying stuff like that, you just can't walk away. And I just was like, oh, I was so frustrated. And I felt so bad because it was like the first time I finally was able to breathe and then something else was just blown in my face. And the woman, the person didn't mean to do it. I'm aware of that. But also at the same time, it was just like, you should also be cognizant of your surroundings. Like, just don't spray stuff like that at people's face. Like, walk away. Like, if I spray sun, like sunscreen when I'm on set or just anywhere, I just try to walk away from people so I don't spray it on their face. Especially because, like, we have equipment around. Um, we have food. Like, we have, a, you know, a food table because people are spraying the stuff. For, sorry, I'm having allergies, naturally. We're spraying stuff around the food. So I was just like... But anyways, I digress. But, um... <clears throat> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Um, but anyways, I quickly recovered and I went up to this woman and I go, I am from the bottom of my heart so sorry. Like, I didn't mean to snap at you. I just was like, I just had four weeks of just stuff blown on my face. And I know you didn't mean to do it intentionally. And she's like, I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. And I go, no, I'm sorry. Like, you didn't deserve that. Like, I was just like, it was just like frustrated. I was, it was hot today. And I go, you know, I'm just tired. Well, on the last day of the shoot, we're just trying to get it done. And everybody's like, Attention, attention to her eyes, so I apologize. I thought it was done. I thought we were fine and we went on with our lives. But for some reason, I just kept getting pulled aside because right after the incident happened, they're like, oh my God, do you know who that is? She was like the lead actress's like manager slash sister. And I was like, yeah, I know who that is. But I go, but I also didn't like the fact that she just sprayed this in my face. But I am the first person to realize I overreacted and I, from the bottom of my heart, apologize. And I, we were fine, at least I thought. But after we were done, the movie was done and we wrapped for the day, I got pulled aside again three hours later and was told that my attitude was one of the, they just did not appreciate my attitude, that, you know, it was not acceptable on set, that this person was so important and that how dare I raise my voice. And I was sitting there going, wait, am I not important? Like I have for four weeks, I've been trying to just breathe, just breathe on set and I couldn't even get that respect. And you're telling me because I just raised my voice because I was frustrated. I'm the worst person. And I was just mortified. I was so insulted after this, this encounter that I was almost in tears. And people were just like looking at me. And I'm just like, I, I'm defeated. I, I, I just want to go home. I was defeated. It was the first time I think in my life that I ever felt just how unworthy a crew member is on set. I just felt so unbelievably small and, and just unimportant and no one ever said like and no one ever said we're sorry that we're making you know we keep set up your allergies it was just like eh, eh okay so I, I um i just came home and i was just like defeated i was and i just I, I i remember i just drank my wine and i i passed out i didn't even think about it i woke up maybe three or four hours later all my lights were on like oh, the tv was on it was just like oh it's five o'clock in the morning and i just got up and I just went and brushed my teeth and got ready for bed and I just came back in and that was it. I was just like, I need to check out from the world today. I just need to check out because I one of my issues with, especially when you've worked in an office, is just like, I get that the people that do your work are unimportant. But to, to sit there and just be constantly reminded of how unimportant you are, because I'm telling you, I must have had four or five different instances after that incident or people just kept coming up to me asking me, like, why did I do that? Why did you blow up? Don't you know who this woman is? She's so important. Like, how could you do this? And I was just like, oh, my God, we apologize and moved on. Like, I don't know why no one else could. So I'm just, I am really frustrated today. I, it's the first time I've felt, like, I'm already having a shitty year, and I'm not letting that use as an excuse. Like, I'm already, like, I lost my mom. You know, I had COVID for the first time. That's when my mom died. Uh, you know, I have a really close family member in jail and I had to deal with that and then my dad moved you know we moved my dad away I think we're just barely surviving through this writer strike and you and, and actor strike and I'm barely surviving and work is finally starting to pick up and it's just like and then I just have to after all this I just have to be like yeah Michael you're still fucking unimportant and so that just makes me feel I just feel like I'm, I'm in this existential crisis but there you go and clearly I'm an asshole because I reacted and I'm all I could do is apologize. I didn't mean to hurt the person's feelings. It was totally just a knee-jerk reaction because it all just came in my effing face. But I don't know. So anyways, I'm just checking out for the next couple of days. And I think 
I work. I'm doing a commercial and then I'm doing the short film. And I think next week after the film is done, I'm just going to take a couple of days and just go and just check out because I just, yeah. Because I need to remind myself that I am important and that I can do what I can. I try to do what I can to make people feel important and I can only do what I can do. But clearly I just, I don't know. This was, I just didn't click with people on this movie and that just happened. So, uh, Anyways, I'm going to bed. <laughs> I hope I hope everybody had a good day. It's uh, finally starting to cool down a little bit here, and I'm grateful for that because the heat has been bad. Um, yeah, okay, I, I don't know what else to say. I'm just going to go to bed. So I uh, hope everybody had a good day, and yeah, I will, uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow.